Many people who need care uh, prefer to stay at home and age in place. Uh, but of course, there are uh, many situations and circumstances that arise where it's just not safe for someone to be at home. Uh, or the, the level of care that's needed uh, simply cannot be provided at home. Uh, in these cases, we need to look to institutional care in a nursing home. And uh, we're fortunate in New York State that there are many, many very good, very high quality nursing homes. For nursing home benefits is simply to transfer all the assets belonging to the spouse who is going into the nursing home to the well spouse, the one who is going to remain in the community. Under federal law, this transfer is made without penalty. That means that the spouse who is to go to a nursing home can enter the nursing home and have Medicaid pay for it once the application is made. Many people do not realize this, and so it is a wonderful planning opportunity. I completely uh, agree with Carol regarding the planning for a spouse who needs to go into a nursing home. However, this comes under the category of don't try this at home. Uh, it may be easy enough to transfer all of the assets from one spouse to the other, but what also needs to be taken into consideration is the spouse who receives all of those assets uh, continues to have an obligation of support for the spouse who's in the nursing home. And Medicaid may seek to collect uh, the cost of the care from the well spouse. So planning for that spouse needs to be done also uh, in order to make sure that the assets are protected in the hands of the well spouse. And this planning is also part of what we do as elder law attorneys.